This is simply a tool of revenue collection. And the true reason this is being forced upon you is because your person is simply to maintain the illusion that they have control over your life, your fortune and your freedom. Because your fear and their ability to take from you something you deem to be valuable. And that is money. Yeah? Do we all believe money is valuable? We all use it every day, don't we? Yeah? And we all believe it's got some worth. These pieces of papers and coin has some worth. Because you can take it somewhere and someone will give you services for it. I shouldn't have said it that way, should I? <laughs> um, you can buy things for it or you can trade it while everywhere. You, you, you believe it's valuable. But have you ever asked yourself this? Have you ever asked this? One, it's all in capitals, so it's again the fictional world, but have you ever asked? 20 pounds of what? <laughs> it's true though, isn't it? Of what? Go and ask the Bank of England, you'll get kicked out. It happened to a friend of mine. Serious. This is the real truth. You're the currency, not money. You are. Because without you, this country grinds to a halt. Because the principal workforce of any machine or any corporation or any company are slaves. And they have to give you something to believe in so you will do that work and you will not question. And to make it valuable, they're going to stiff you with as many fines that I'll make believe to make you give over that worthless piece of paper to another corporation just so you believe it's real. No? This is what I entered into. Some of you might know what I'd done. A friend of mine, Robin, who sat in the audience, gave me some information once. And funny enough, another gentleman who sat in the audience gave me the same information. And I looked at it, and it's called Lawful Rebellion. It's actually wrote in Magna Carta 1215. It's Article 61. Now, I know a lot about Magna Carta now, and I know that Magna Carta certainly wasn't wrote for us. And we've got no, we can't use it. We can't use it. But we can use the method of lawful rebellion because lawful rebellion says, and what Article 61 actually says, it says, lawfully hinder, and it says, you never, must never ever use violence. We can't sort this out with violence because if we sort this out with violence, violence will always ensue. <laughs> we have to do this peacefully. And the way we do it peacefully is learning the rules of the game. So when these people come to us, not only, you've got to understand this, th there's people out there who are working on all walks of these corporations who know there's something very wrong, they don't know what it is, they're trying to do something about it, and they can't do something about it until they have the knowledge to be able to do something. And we need to give these people that knowledge. Every single time you write to the tax office and you tell them I'm not paying because, you, well, what do you want me to pay with? What's it worth? Ask the tax office what, what they want you to pay and say to them, what's it worth? You want me to give you a worthless piece of paper? The tax office, you, these people need to be educated. They need to learn this. The police, the courts, the judges, the politicians. There's politicians down there who don't know, even know about this. So what we do is, whenever you're stopped by one of these individuals, Ask them this, am I obliged to ask you your questions? Because they won't know what the word obliged means. They won't know what it means. And it's a choice. It's a choice. And then ask them, under what authority and under what law yeah, are you acting? The reason being is because if they say to you, it's under this law, and then they suddenly say, and you prove it's a statute, an act of parliament, that says it in itself. An act. 
Parliament, that's all it is. It's theatre. It's an act. Shakespeare said it, the world's a stage. And we're all acting. Absolutely true. But when you say to these people, you can actually say this, and this is absolute fact, because I'm just about to do this to the Chief Constable of Devon and Cornwall Police. Failure to differentiate between a statute and a law is gross negligence that's equivalent to the common law offend, uh, uh, crime of fraud. They're committing fraud. They've committed fraud on you from the day you were born. This applies to anyone who is trying to enforce these statutes. You are a man or a woman. You are not a person. You are not a person. The legal world is the same as your person. It is a fiction. It's an illusion. It is not real. You just believe it is. Because you've been duped. And they've made it so bloody complicated. But it's not complicated. Because it doesn't exist. It's not real. The corporate employees must get a man or a woman to represent the person before a contract can be formed. That's absolutely true. They will ask you your name, they'll ask you your address. When they get your address, they've got joinder. Because I could be, there could be 100,000 John Harris's in England. They need that address to get joinder so they can prove who you are. The second you do that, the human being has said, yes, I'm the person. Remember, there is no justice in this country. And there isn't any justice in this country. I see it daily. I have people contact me. I hear the most sad stories. I know a lady sat in the office, uh, the office, the audience, who is, I know that her story is incredibly sad about her dad. And I've listened to it. And I want to help her, and I can't help her. Not at this moment. But I have a way of doing it, though. There is no justice, you will only ever receive summary judgment. They just want to extract money from you, because they want you to still believe that this stuff's real. For every court, even the highest court on the land is a profit-making corporation, and it runs under the United Kingdom Corporation. This is the only way you can do it, and I'm not asking anybody to do this. I've never asked anybody to do anything that I do. I want to save my country. I don't want to save this country, in fact. I want to save this island. Why have we got borders? Why do the English hate the Scottish or the other way around? Why do the Welsh? Why have we got borders? Because we've been divided. Because when we're divided, we can't unite. We've been divided by languages. Political parties were designed to divide people. The only way to get rid of this once and for all is to sacrifice the person. To sacrifice the person is to remove that person completely. That means the birth certificate has to be destroyed. And it can be done. I've seen a way of doing it. Massive implications, but it can be done. And I am going to do it. Because I am not living in this society one minute longer than I have to and watch my fellow human beings suffer under it. I will find a way to get out of this and I will succeed. The reason being is because what I'm doing is right. It breaks my heart. I could wait for the world. And if anybody ever tells you that a grown man can't cry, yes he can. Thank you. It's just something to say Going round inside my head I'm gonna say it my soul Before things get impossible I should have seen the signs And they were right before my eyes He could have saved my soul I thought I'd roll across the bed I think I saw